guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the best and worst of Jouer Cosmetics. I asked you guys on Instagram if you were interested in knowing more about the brand because I had never tried anything from there and you guys said yes. So that's what we're doing today. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Like I said, I asked you guys on Instagram if you were interested in hearing more about this brand. If you want input on videos that I do, definitely follow me on Instagram. My handle is here, here somewhere. Uh, it's just at Sarah Brittany. But I decided to pick up quite a few items. I picked up the foundation and then it ended up being too light, so I chose a different foundation shade. So I have two different foundation shades. I picked up the bronzer. Again, I picked up the light medium. I realized it was too light, so I picked up the medium deep. So I have two of those. I have one of their blush duos. I have a highlighter, an eyeliner, and a lip gloss. So I have lots of products to go through. I'm gonna show you guys a demo of me applying them to my face, sharing the pros, cons, everything I like, everything I didn't like, all the things. So let's start. I'm just gonna go in the order of how I applied them today. Also, I will link everything that I mentioned down below in the bottom bar, as well as everything I'm wearing on my face. Everything in general will be down there if you have questions. And I also know that there are products from Jouer that I did not try. This is not a, you know, a review on every single product that Jouer has. It's simply on the products that I have personally tried so far. I have my computer pulled up right in front of me so that I can kind of read over the different products. The first item is the foundation. It comes in this metallic gold box. It is called the Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation and it comes in 50 shades. So I have mine in the shades Buff and Pebble. And one thing I will say that I noticed about almost all of these packages is that the boxes are much bigger than they need to be. Like this is the foundation. So this seems like a big box for this foundation. So this is what the actual package looks like. It's this nice frosted glass. This is the shade Pebble and this is Buff. And then the back. So I really do like the packaging. I think that it's nice. It comes with 0.68 fluid ounces, which is less than the typical one ounce that most foundations come in. This retails for $38 and it does say shake well, and you can kind of hear it. Anyway, it does have a pump, so it is nice packaging. So the first shade I picked up is Buff. This one says that it is a light skin with neutral olive undertones, and this one is just so light. So then I ended up picking up the shade Pebble. I just wiped that off of my skin. I probably should have kept it so I could um, compare them for you. So this one is buff and then I picked up Pebble and Pebble says that it is, let's see. Pebble says light to medium skin with neutral undertones. Okay, so this is buff and this is Pebble. Pebble obviously is a bit darker than uh, buff is, but it still was pretty light. I was surprised because it says that it's a light medium shade. So these ended up being lighter than I expected them to be. I put Pebble on my skin today, which you will see in the demo, and I think it ended up working out. It was a little bit light, and I, I have a tiny tan, not a lot at all. So I do think I could have gone with a little bit of a deeper shade. Not by much, but on the Jouer website, this the Pebble shade is under the medium category. They have fair light, medium tan, dark, and deep. So those are the six categories. So this is in the third category called medium. I don't think that I fall under like the third category, but that's where we're at. So I'm gonna hop into the demo of me applying it and kind of share with you guys as I apply it what it says online. So this says, supreme coverage, lightweight and long wearing, essential high coverage cream foundation creates an impeccable airbrushed matte finish instantly. Simply smooth a small amount of the concentrated formula onto the skin with Jouer's essential precision foundation brush and buff to reveal your perfect complexion. So it is oil free matte, it has hyaluronic acid in it, cucumber extract, all of those things. So I will say that I think that it's a little bit hard to blend out. It would get concentrated in certain areas and I felt like the pigmentation wasn't able to blend out perfectly. Overall, once it's on my skin, I do like it. I think it felt a little bit heavy to apply, but then once all the rest of my makeup was on, I didn't feel like it was heavy at all. So that was kind of like an interesting thing. I 
do like this, but it's definitely not my favorite foundation that I've ever tried. I also think that the price tag is high simply for the fact that you get 0.68 ounces and it's $38. So that is a little bit more expensive than a lot of the other foundations that retail. I think the Dior foundation, their like new one is $40 and that one you get more than an ounce in. And I'm trying to think of what other foundations I have tried recently. I mean, even the one, the It Cosmetics um, Matte CC Cream, this has 1.08 ounces and this one is $38. So that's a comparable price, but you get much more product in this one. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, this is $34 and you get one ounce in this one. So as you can see, even compared to some high-end brands, this one is definitely more expensive. Moving right along, let's talk about the bronzers. Again, they come in these really pretty, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, like metallic box. And again, with the usage of space, every box has these spacers in it. So the actual palette is very small compared to how big the box is. That's just my opinion. I think that it's bigger than it needs to be. So these come in two different shades. They come in light to medium and medium to deep. So I originally picked up the light to medium one because generally speaking, I fall in the light to medium category. I realized that, so this is the light to medium. And well, first the outside packaging of these is stunning. I like that they're both different. I think that they're cool. It's the pink and gold. And then on the back, it has the shades on there. So I think the packaging is really nice. Each of them come with a nice sized mirror in here and it does clasp shut. So I think the packaging on every single thing of these is stunning. The part that I don't like is the extra cardboard packaging. This is bigger than it needs to be on almost every single one, but the actual inside packaging of these is just so pretty. So I originally bought the light to medium, which that one has sunlight and suntan and these are what the shades look like i'm going to swatch them for you too just so that you can get kind of an idea and then this one i ended up trying this one out and it just didn't i felt like i wasn't getting a bronzy look and then i compared these shades to different bronzers that i have and they were much lighter than most of the bronzers i have like this shade does not look like it would be a bronzer at least for my skin tone if somebody's much more fair than i am absolutely this would work but i was surprised that i would fall under the medium to deep category so this one includes um sun kissed and sunset and these ones i was worried because they looked a little bit deeper especially comparatively so this is what they look like the medium to deep is on the top and i'm just going to do a little swatch for you guys so that you can see what they look like next to each other so like i said these are the two shades that these palettes come in each of them have two shades in them and they retail for 30 dollars i'm going to show you guys the demo of me applying it as i read the description that it has on the website so it says a duo of velvety complementary bronzers that promote a healthy glowing complexion brush bronzer across cheeks toward temples across forehead and lightly over chin for a sun-kissed glow these say that they are long wearing, paraben free, have vitamin E, and they're dermatologist tested. I tried the light to medium one, I think like three different times, trying only the dark shade, trying to mix them, trying to make something work, and this light to medium one just did not work out for me. And then I decided to pick up the medium to deep just because I did want to have a good idea of if it would work for me or not so i picked up this one i like this i feel like it's really pretty i can use this deepest shade and it's not crazy i put it on my forehead today i did have to blend it out a bit more than i have to blend out the lighter shade but if i had a tan i think this shade would work perfectly for me and i still did use it i also used these two shades in my crease if i just i did it today because i didn't put any, any eyeshadow on but a lot of times i don't use eyeshadow so i'll just throw my bronzer in my crease that's what i did today and i think it looks beautiful so I really, really enjoyed this. I like that there are the two different shades just because, especially if you want to only have one bronzer in your collection, it's nice to have the two different shades if you're um, tan or not tan, anything like that. 
So overall, I did like this. I will say I have other bronzers in my collection that I like more, like my Hourglass bronzer, which is my absolute favorite of all time. This bronzer is not beat by this one, by the Jouer one, but it's definitely a bronzer that I'm excited to have in my collection. I think it will definitely uh, reach for this quite a bit and I'm going to get my use out of it. Okay, next up in this palette, this is even more different packaging. This is a blush box with the metallic um, flowers. So this is the blush palette and this is the same packaging, same thing, huge box, small palette, I don't get it. But this is the blush duo and God, this packaging. Seriously, nothing speaks to my heart like this packaging. So on the back again, it has the shade names and I have mine in Adore. This one, so this comes in four different color combos and they retail for $30. And again, it has the exact packaging as the bronzers. So same size, has the same size mirror, same size pans, all of that. It's very comparable. The blushes come in the shades Adore Me and Hold Me. And I think I said these retail for $30. They come in four different options. Adore has the uh, matte, warm, dusty peach, and the shimmering, warm, pale, nude peach. So I mix these together a lot. I will just swatch them for you guys so that you can see what they look like. I will say that the lighter shade I don't like if I use it on my own, which was a bummer to me because I wanted to be able to use this as two different bronze or blushes and then swirl them, like dip into both of them and use them together, which this, the lighter shade, I just feel like it's almost too cool toned for me and it makes my skin look dead. So I do not wear it on its own, which is disappointing, but I do like them swirled together and I do like this one on its own. So this says, a duo of velvety smooth complimentary blushes that deliver a full pigment color and blend it to the perfect finish. Again, these are paraben free, have vitamin E, they're cruelty free, and dermatologist tested. I really like the formula of this. I feel like they lasted on my cheeks all day long, and I just am unsure about the lighter shade in this specific palette. But then when I looked at the other shade options that they have, there's none of the other ones that I liked as much as I like what this one looks like online. So I still think that I would have chosen this one and I'm not disappointed in it. Like I said, I love the formula. So if you have one that you think that looks really, really good in the pans, you might love it. All right, next up is the highlighter, and this is in the shade Topaz. These come in silver packaging. It's just like a silver mirrored packaging with the shade name on the back. And then again, it has this nice mirror, the actual product, and it has the um, click. I do want to also say, I know I've been hating on their outer carton packaging, but I would rather have the extra packaging on something that I can recycle than something than have it like here. I think this packaging is nice and compact and it's not wasting a bunch of materials and having super clunky makeup that you have to have sit in your drawer. So these powder highlights retail for $24. They come in seven shades. Like I said, I have the shade Topaz and this is just stunning. So Topaz says that it is a shimmering peachy gold, which I agree and I think it is gorgeous. This says, ultra fine pearls and luminescent pigments create the ultimate lit from within glow. This creamy powder formula is long wearing, highly pigmented, and layers with our best selling cream highlighter for the perfect radiant finish. It says that it is long wearing and dermatologist tested. One thing that I loved right off the bat from this is it is so finely milled that it doesn't accentuate your pores or any texture that you have. And then it's so pretty and you can really blend it out if you want. You don't have to have that like beaming from space look. You can have just a nice natural look. I've never in my life gone through an entire highlight just because I like to use a small amount, but you can totally build it up and get that like insane highlight if you want that look. But this one, I just, ugh. I think it is so, so, so pretty. And again, it's one of those products that 
is so versatile because you can get that crazy glow if you want it but you can also get just a little bit of some glowy lip from within looking skin so i highly highly recommend this this is one of my favorite products that i tried from them i'm actually surprised that this was I think this and one other product were my absolute favorites. I'll go through at the end, but this is so good. So if you need a highlight in your collection, I highly recommend checking these out. And again, they do come in seven shades, so you do have quite a few options depending on what kind of highlight you're looking for. Next up is the Kitten Liner, and this is a liner that's in jet black. I mentioned this in my huge beauty haul, which I will link up here, but that's where I, I got all of these products and I mentioned them in that video. And this packaging really reminds me of the Tarte, um, I think it's the Man Eater liner with like the animal print stuff. But anyway, it is a liquid liner and it's gonna go right over the highlight. The applicator is very pigmented, but it's not super, super flexible. So it's easy to kind of push it against your eyelid and drag it and it's not going to go all over the place. So I do think that this is an easy one to use. This retails for $18. It comes in solid jet black. It says an easy application, total control eyeliner pen that delivers a precise and flawlessly clean line every time. Start applying with small strokes to create the perfect line. Complete the look by filling in the line as thin or bold as desired. This says it's dermatologist tested, no transfer, perfect application every time, long lasting and water resistant. I really, really enjoyed this. I like that it was a little bit of a stiffer applicator. I also like that it was so pigmented I didn't have to continue to go over it. So I didn't have to tug on my eyelids or push down really hard. So I did really enjoy this. There are other liners that I would probably still recommend over this one, like the Stila Stay All Day Liner. I love that one. The NYX, um, the matte eyeliner from NYX is really good. There's so many good ones, but I would say this one is right up there with it. And I really loved the applicator. So I will continue to use this. I've used it basically every single day since I tried it. Like that's one of those things that if I'm excited to pull it out of my collection to use it, you know it's good. And this has definitely been one of those products. All right, last but not least is the gloss. This is the Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss. They retail for $17. And this formula comes in six shades. I believe they have, let me just look really quick. Because I think they have like three different formulas of lip gloss, maybe. So they have the Longwear Lip Topper, the High Pigment Pearl Lip Gloss, and then the Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss. And the High Pigment Lip Gloss. Okay, so they have High Pigment Pearl Lip Gloss and then High Pigment Lip Gloss. And then also the Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss. So they have quite a few different lip gloss formulas is the moral of that story. This one is the Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss. They retail for $17, come in six shades. This is in the shade Diamond Walk, which is a sheer, cool, dusty nude. This is the packaging. I think that it's interesting for the fact that there's this thing on the side. It looks like you could kind of hook it to another one, but I don't know if that is what it's for. And then you open it up and it has this doe foot applicator. This is smaller as an applicator than most of the other lip glosses that I have, like the actual part that you hold on to is, but the shade is really, really pretty, I think, and I don't think that the applicator pulls up too much product, so you're not wasting a ton, but it's super, super glossy, shiny, pigmented, but not too pigmented that you're worried about it getting everywhere, and it smells like sugar. So it says this lightweight, non-sticky gloss glides on smoothly, delivers a sheer wash of color and moisturizes the lips with jojoba seed oil and coconut oil. It says it's lightweight, warm and cool shades and non-sticky. So I do agree with that. I don't think it's sticky at all. I think it looks absolutely beautiful at, over every single thing that I've tried it over so far. Today I'm wearing it over my Buxom Plump Liner and this combo has been on major repeat. I actually just mentioned this combo on my Instagram a few days ago. I love this. I would say that this gloss and the highlight are my two favorite products that I tried from this line. So if you're in the market for a lip gloss, I highly recommend this one. These are $17. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not.
Okay, I feel like I have been talking for eternity. I'm just gonna go through really quick each product that I mentioned, say if I recommend it or not, and then we're done. So the uh, foundation, I would say just pass on this. It's expensive, and I think that it was a little bit harder to blend than some other ones that I have. The finish is fine, it's very high coverage, but for me, I think there's better ones on the market. The bronzer duos, I really like these. I'm glad that I picked up the medium to deep. I will definitely get my use out of it. The light to medium was far too light, and I just didn't want to add a bunch of product to my skin. So I would say, depending on your skin tone, don't be scared of getting the medium to deep one just because it is going to be easier and you're going to use less product. The blush formula I love. I think it's beautiful. It blends out nicely and it's not so pigmented that you have to be really worried about dipping your brush in and looking like a clown. It is super user friendly. I love the packaging. I think you get a great amount of product for the price. Highly recommend this if you can find shades that you like. The highlighter, I 100% recommend. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It comes in some really beautiful shades and I love that it's a versatile product that you can do just something subtle or something insanely intense. The Kitten Liner, love this. I will continue to use this. I think there are other options that are just as good from the drugstore like the NYX Matte Liner, but if you want to try out a high-end liner, I really like this and I do like the stiff applicator. I think it's a lot easier to apply if you're a beginner. And then lastly, the gloss, just get it. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about it. It is gorgeous. I like that it's not so pigmented that you're worried about it bleeding and looking really nasty. It's just beautiful and once I figure out what this little thing is for, I'm sure I will have more Jouer lip glosses in my future, like all hooked together, whatever they do. Um, but yeah, this is stunning. Alrighty guys, those are my thoughts on all of the products that I tried from Jouer. Let me know down below in the comments, have you tried anything from Jouer? Is there something you want to try out? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Let me know all the things down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.